just happy I found this area. Is there anything you want from this area? Yeah, nothing for At Dylan. Oh well, yeah. Instead of tables, they got water. I was supposed to go to the dentist, but it didn't happen, and then they didn't call us. It's kind of annoying. So now we're here shopping. That's where hand sanitizer usually is, and I'm gone. But this place had tons of toilet paper. I found and saw TP. Isn't that crazy? That's just rude. Man, I haven't been outside since March 17th, and now it's... April 18th and I'm out a month later. Thing is, stupid Dennis made us get up at 6 in the morning for an 8 o'clock appointment. Didn't even leave us a message saying, Oh, I'm sorry, but we'll close down there. Like, what the fuck? And then you leave your dog in the car? Rude. We went to Dylan's. What the fuck? Our radio was talking about Goonies and doing some crusts on the Goonies. To the chopper shopper. Goonies never say die. Like, what the hell? Now they're playing queens. Another one buys the dust. I saw a lady wearing a scarf going, Are you fucking crazy? The scarf's not gonna save you. You need a mask. And then she was too scared to get near me. Like, what the fuck? This window is fading, but this window is perfect. What the fuck? Sign that says safe place. Okay. We're at the quick shop. We're just trying to get all of our necessary things done, things that we just have to have. Because I've been cooped up in my house for a month. I don't want to go home, but I know we gotta stay home. Lucky, lucky, they're at it again with fire when they shouldn't be doing that shit because they're too close to houses and they're too close to trees. And wires. Better view of it. Need to do DC. The who number shows like Unsolved Mysteries, Rescue 911, and America's Most Wanted. Unsolved Mysteries is the one with, with the host that scared the crap out of you in the 80s and the 90s, and then... Damn dog. Like I was saying before I got interrupted by my brother, Unsolved Mysteries is this one that was a scary show the scary guy America's Most Wanted is another guy that had a son that got killed, was missing and killed and whatever happened and now he's on a new show on a new channel and then Rescue 911 was where they showed you how three olds and five olds and teenagers and little kids can use the phone and call 911 and save their parents' life. Great shows from the 90s taught a lesson when Unsolved and America's Most was on. They saved so many lives and found so many killers. Ever since that show, they can't find shit. That's why I don't know why it's off the air, knowing that it helped. Even They even had a storyline on Unsolved called The Son of Sam, and it was creepy that, okay, I found these episodes on YouTube. Someone has them all on YouTube. Twelve seasons, I believe. I stopped watching because I got scared because they just kept talking about ghost encounters, UFOs, and it got boring, and I didn't want to hear about that anymore, and then there was a bunch of killings, and it just got annoying. 
but I'm going back and watching them again. If you want to watch these shows, I found all of them. America's Most Wanted, I couldn't find. I found some people that had some of the episodes, but not all of them. Unfortunately, but hey, that's better than nothing. They're in the playlist called Shows, so go there and watch it. That, just go there and watch it in that playlist. And yeah, I found a bunch of people with Rescue 911 videos. I remember two Rescue 911 videos. One was when the kids was outside when it was thundering and lightning outside, and they was by a tree and they got struck by lightning. And another one was a go kart innocent. That's all I remember from that. Oh yeah, and another one where this guy was creeping through the windows because back in the 90s, you never like covered your curtain like your windows with curtains and. And you had them wide open. Back in the 80s and 90s, there was m more killings happen, more kidnappings were happening, more things were happening because people weren't more, weren't that safe back in the day. They didn't want to be safe. They did things that they normally wouldn't do. Now these days, you hardly hear about about that stuff happening because people are taking precautions now these days and the things but you could see their hairstyles from back then and their clothes styles and be like what the word but they're reenactments and they're pretty cool reenactments those people did a pretty good job I would hate to be the person that looked like the killer and people thinking it was you <laughs> Not knowing, hey, stupid, it's a reenactment. Do you really think they would have real film of these things happening? Or have the real killer act these things out? Like, come on now. But it's hard to watch and solve, and it still is. Sometimes I have to have a light on. Sometimes I have to be doing something while watching it. Usually I can only watch one hour and a half of of the show and then I'm like okay I need a break let's go to Rescue in one or let's go to a different thing but I wish they would bring those shows back on TV with reruns so people now these days can learn but as they bring them back have updates on all the on all the episodes you know of what happened to the peoples but They did have another guy do the voice or the hosting of Unsolved Mysteries and it wasn't the same. And those reruns are still on Lifetime, but I would rather have the 90s and the 80s one. But yeah, they're not in the right order because apparently before season one officially started, there was a seven, spe seven episode special on the show first that came out. And they got that confused when they uploaded the show. Just look at Wika, Wikipedia and you know. But the, Sen the creepy thing about Son of Sam is they to told the story on Unsolved about Son of Sam. And then I woke up this morning and my mom was watching a show about Son of Sam. I was like, what? I just saw this on Unsolved. Yes. Last night, what the, what the, ah, and they had all the same info, and it was creepy, weird, and oh, but yeah, I didn't go to the dentist, because the stupid dentist didn't call us, and say, hey, we'll close until May 3rd, can we reschedule your appointment, because I didn't want to get up at 6 a.m. in the first place, I just wanted them to cancel it, it's weird that the dentist who wears gloves, wears masks when they work on their teeth, but yet the eye doctor who has to get up and close to you to check your eyes and stuff and to dick with your glasses to put on you ain't closed. Same, same, they're in the same building, like one's on the left, one's on the right. And so I was like, what the fuck? So I didn't get, it's been one month and one day since I've been outside, been anywhere. And 
I was getting sick and tired of home cooked food, like store bought food. I was just getting sick of everything. So I went to Di so we went to Dylan's because my mom had to pick up some medicine anyways. And I got some Chinese food, some barbecue, that you know those little to go shops they had open stuff. And it was amazing. They had the best cream cream and goons ever with Lots and lots and lots of cream, cream cheese in the middle. Ooh, so perfect. But what I don't understand is, when my mom had an appointment in last month, they called her and said, hey, we need to reschedule. We're going to close that Saturday. And they let her know, and they rescheduled her and everything. And then they're like, oh, sorry. But they called, but they text my mom's phone and said, confirm you guys' appointment. So we confirmed it. And they said, oh, we can't wait to see you this Saturday. And yeah, if that's an auto thingy, then you guys need to update that because that would confuse people if you're closed. Like, call your patients and don't forget to call them. Especially when they have to get up at 6 a.m. for an 8 o'clock appointment. And, they were and we were almost late to it anyways. So annoying. But getting out and going to Dylan's was just the best thing ever. I wish I took a picture of the TP that I saw, but they had toilet paper there, tons of it. And I could see why nobody was picking it up, because it doesn't even say toilet paper on the thing. And it just looks like towels, napkins. That's what they look like. And I was like, is this toilet moms like, yes, but we don't need any. I said, I know, but I see what you mean about it looking like, because I don't see it written anywhere. But they didn't have any hand sanitizers. So, yeah. But they had lots of baby diapers and baby wipes and all that stuff. And I thought the rule was you were supposed to wear a mask if you work at a food place because I saw people cooking with food getting it ready for lunch not wearing a mask and I saw a girl packing our bags with no mask on if I was one of those crazy people I would be like uh could you not touch could you not fill my stuff up you're breathing all over it you're not wearing a mask. I don't want somebody that's not wearing a mask, you know, handling my stuff. Could you not? But we're not like that. We're just like, whatever. Do what you gotta do. And then this girl was wearing a scarf around her mouth. And it was supposed to be around the mouth, around the nose. So she wasn't even, one, wearing it right. And two, you don't wear a fucking scarf and then go, and then when I come by, go, like that, trying to stay away from me. Um, you're going to be one of the ones that probably get it. Sorry to be rude about it, but yeah, she's probably one of the ones that's going to get it. Because scarves have holes in them. Not okay. I don't care if Trump says, you just put on a scarf. That's better than nothing. Uh, no, Trump. That's got holes in it. That's not going to help. And second of all, going like this, trying to get away from me, one, that's, I, I understand you don't want to be near me, but two, you're not even wearing your mask, you're not even wearing a mask, you're wearing a scarf, so I'm not going to get away from you, because you're endangering yourself anyways. But anyways, who knows when this video will come out, talk to y'all later, I'm going to go finish watching my Rescue 901 and my Unsolved Mysteries and... Make us most wanted and eat my food and uh, who knows. But yeah, I got those, something I don't usually eat. And then I we got this. I got Chinese bus stickers. I'm excited. I'm awesome. Woo-woo.